They're paid to give your kids an education, but tonight some local teachers are waiting on bonuses promised to them. Now, it's all because of a delay in I-STEP scores. WSBT 22's Kelly Stepinski is here. And Kelly, those test scores are a critical part to many teachers' yearly evaluations. And Rick, because of the missing test scores, evaluations for teachers in many corporations across the state from last school year still aren't done. In South Bend, teachers are waiting on a $1,200 bonus, and Penn Harris Madison teachers as much as $2,500. 50%, Anna. They've worked and they've earned it. South Bend Teachers Union President Jason Zook says getting bonuses promised in their contracts shouldn't be so difficult. Any raises that were negotiated through the contract negotiations cannot be paid for Indiana law until the evaluations are finalized and the evaluations can't be finalized until this data comes from the testing companies. And the company that runs I-STEP testing in Indiana now says it could be next year before scores from last school year are in. But this week, South Bend schools sent a letter to all teachers saying they'll get the bonuses even though test scores aren't back. If a teacher's final evaluation says they need improvement or are ineffective, they have to pay the money back. We have had delays in the past, but never this lengthy. In the past, Penn Harris Madison teachers weren't working under the performance evaluation model, a school funding formula allowing some schools to offer raises to teachers if they meet certain requirements and their students have good I-STEP scores. It is important to know whether or not our students are meeting the Indiana academic standards. And so, of course, having the results from I-STEP from last spring would be an important piece of information to have. PHM says test scores are just a small part of the picture gauging student success. And even though every teacher in the corporation has had strong evaluations the past couple years, administrators there are still talking to the teachers union about the best way to handle bonuses with the I-STEP delay. PHM also says its teachers reteach material throughout the year, and that's a good way to make sure every student is caught up. The corporation also says it's important for parents to be involved with their kids and their teachers to make sure students are on track. Rick?